What's up, Mike Raising People there in it? It's your boy, Awesome Joe 18, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is a direct continuation of part one and part two. So, here we go. So, on the last episode, we actually just came from seeing a legendary Pokemon, I'm assuming. And now we're gonna go to the professor's lab. So let's go on. So actually, so for voiceovers, I think I overkilled it for the last two episodes. So I might not do as many voiceovers because my voice is dying and I really want to continue with this game. So anyways, here we go. This is quite a big step, you know, my first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Score Bunny a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark out on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay. So now we're gonna have we can finally wait, what's with the Lulus? Wait, what? You wanna wanna better take the long way around? Wait, how was that? This way? Say what? Oh, I had to go here. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this is an item. And I found potions, and I'm going to need plenty of those potions, you know. Alright. What is that? Is that a squirrel Pokemon? Oh, wait, there's items. Ah! I want the item. Give me the item. I'll take the paralyzed heals. I already know what they do. Um, dodge. Dodge. Dodge Pokemon. Dodge them. Alright. <laughs> I dodge Pokemon. That's pretty awesome. And I gotta admit, of all the voices that I've done, I love Leon's voice. I kind of give it like a holy. Oh man. But Goki's the one that I give Goki. That's just straining my throat. That's killing me. <laughs> Alright. Here is the amazing Charizard. Pokemon Center's over there. But first off, first, let's go ahead and get to the Pokemon facility. I mean, the Pokemon lab. Well done. We reached the go and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know I'm sure glad I got charged with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Roar. <laughs> Alright. I gotta give it. To Professor Magolia. I mean, I go to give it to Professor Magolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Break. <laughs> oh, look at you. You little cute little corgi. Oh, I want to add that to my team, to be honest. <sighs> ah, what is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never before seen Pokemon, super strong Pokemon. I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Ha ha ha! Oh, she's cute, to be honest. Is she the professor? No, she's not the professor. Good to see you too, Yamper. I mean, good to see you, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonya. What can I say about Sonya? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes good food, and you could gobble it down in a flash. <laughs> Excuse yourself. <laughs> what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? I wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. My heart is going... <laughs> anyway, nice to meet you. Name is Sonya. I'm the professor's assistant. Oh, this is awesome, Joe 18. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Said I'm on the right path, would you? <laughs> Aww. That's cool. Hmm. <sighs> What's the thing I am? He's always got this his heads in the cloud. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom! <gasps> That's like an iPhone right there. <laughs> Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They got a map and a navigation tool. They said 
Leon gets lost so <laughs> Oh sorry to so to tell me. I mean <laughs> Oh sorry to tell me you know a lot about Pokemon Yo bet <laughs> Well said in that case I'll make it to I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Proton phone. I have a Pokedex on my on my phone, on my iPhone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received that Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Hmm. Emperor books. Oh my gosh. What's in here? Hmm. Pretty cool. Can I go up here? Let's see. Any items? It all looks pretty good though. Not gonna lie. Alright. Let's head out. Bye, Emperor. Alright, let's go. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the book on my lab, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Excuse me. I thought that was a Pokeball. I was like, I'm not ready for this. Not just yet. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP. Their hit points get slow. HP is like a Pokemon stamina. You can't even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Very true. Very true. Words are the wisest. I mean, words are the wisest people in the world. Alright. So. Hmm. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. A battling strong Pokemon in the wild can lead. You can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've gotten. we got Pokemon Centers. Well, which I, I could only use for a certain limited of time. Uh, luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Nelson Joey Teen. Bet you've never been inside one. Not really. Not yet. Hmm. Level with me, Nelson Joey Teen. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Yes. Then the future champs got you covered. I mean, champions got you covered. First things first. You talk to the lady at the counter if you want your Pokemon healed up. And the Pokemon you catch are kept in computers like the one you can find here, see? After all, wait, is that a Pokemon? Or... Huh. Okay, never mind. After all, you can only bring six Pokemon with you on the road in your party. And the potions they sell at the Pokemon got me out of a real tough spot the other day. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2, Awesome Joey Team. Come by me, maybe when you're done here? Sure will. Oh man. Alright, let's see what, what you got over here. Okay. Potions. Hmm. I, I honestly low key like this design. It looks clean. Super clean. Let's see, what about this other place? What do you do here? Um, yes. Hmm. This is quite a fine nickname, but I think we could give it something even better. What do you think? No. <gasps> Yo, that Pokemon Fufu? Yo, it kind of reminds me of... Oh, it was like from that Lilo and Stitch show. Oh, it looks like the experiments from from Lilo and Stitch if you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyways, let's go back. So let's head down to Route 2. Listen, awesome Geotine, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try hard at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate! In the annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff, so I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You got to take part too. The proper, a proper rival. It's just the thing every trainer needs to grow 
to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. That's what's up. That's what's up. Alright. Hmm. Are we supposed to go in here? I'm wondering if we're supposed to go in here. Let's see. Alright. Um, so are these like the grandparents or something? Maybe more villagers or something. I don't know. I know I read the text, but still. And you are grandpa. Another grandpa, right? <laughs> in order to bring out the full strength of your po of their Pokemon traders must acknowledge. Must be in the what? Oh, knowledgeable. Okay. That's true. What about you? You seem that how you see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. I saw that item and I can't use revise, which sucks. Oh well. Alright. Wow, this is a big town in a way. Over here, Austin G18. Mm -hmm. Alright, Austin G18. It's time we filled in our teams a bit. And I am here to teach you how. You don't need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Every Pokemon has a type or two, which can make it good against some bones but poor against others. That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon to cover one another's weaknesses. Now, let's all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. I guess another catching tutorial. Wait, is there a speed up button or something? Oh wait, are you serious? This is a uh, pretty slow. I guess. Well, I can't skip this t tutorial at all. Not even though I wanted to. Now that's insane. <laughs> Typically. I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around there seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, what you say? Well, our Shady Dog has officially started. Oh well, this is game over. Alright, let's go. We got three tokens now. And now what that means, in order to get more tokens, I either had to be my rival or some other important trainers along the way and I'm not gonna be sure of which are which of them are but other ways to get tokens is being in the gym leaders themselves and you know the rivals of like um like the evil team I forgot what the evil team in this game was called but whatever who they are the lead like the admins I mean like yeah like the admins or the generals those give me tokens as well I believe don't 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 quote me on that last part but for the rest, yeah, it's pretty accurate. So let's go. Let's go on with this. Let's go. All right. The Pokemon on your team will get XP points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get experience points from battles to take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even now, I don't know exactly how yet. Show your Pokemon, show your champion something good, all right? Well, that's what I'm gonna plan on doing. All right, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Huh? All righty then. So now, the Nuzlocke has officially started. Now, what that means, it's time to catch her some new Pokemon. So we're gonna start off with Route Two. I still have to go back to Route One, and I believe that other place to catch a new Pokemon. So. Who's going to be the first Pokemon in our added onto our team? I don't know. But for sure, we got a water type already, right? Uh, what's your nature? Hmm, Dynamax level. Okay. Where's your nature? Uh, oh, quiet nature. I don't know if that's good or not, but hey, you're a timid Pokemon. You should be getting like timid or something. 
Anyways, let's carry on. Let's see. Is that a... Uh, I don't know what that is. What's that? Wait, what's that? Oh, wait. I'm interested by whatever this is. What is that? Is it... Is it Chudo? Oh, it's that... Uh, Krakenal, right? Oh, I forgot that Pokemon. Turtle Pokemon. Yo, you look dope. I'm gonna catch you. That's what's up. Alright, let's pound. Ooh, it already has bite? Yo, that is... Okay, are you like a water type or something? I'm gonna water gun you. Yikes. I can heal up. Okay, water gun. Water gun be the trick. Okay, water is not effective against you. So, I'm gonna potion up because... Yikes. This is scary. <laughs> this is very scary. Alrighty then. Boom! Alright, you're using tackle, which is really nice. You're giving me a break here. Uh, oh, this sucks. Alright, let's go. So, if, if water's not effective, what does that make you? A fire type? No, wait. If what you're a grass type. Well, I, I don't remember your typing from the top of my head. But all I know is pound is super effective. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch you now. Now, let's see. Let's see. Can I catch you from this range? That's the question. All right, Pokeball. I got 25 Pokeballs. When did I get 25? Wait. Okay, I don't remember when I got Pokeballs, but you know what? We got Chudo. That that's all that matters. We got Chudo. Alright. So and we're level eight. And I learned mine? That's odd. Okay. Whatever. We got a Chudo Chudo. It's a Oh. <laughs> this is another water type crap. <laughs> Okay, so, um, what should I call you, man? You'll, you'll, like, I'll call you Leonardo. For some reason, I'll call you Leonardo, you know? Alright, let's go. I'm gonna call you Leonardo. I don't know. You, you, I'm trying to remember the, like, the turtle names for the Power Rangers. I mean, not the Power Rangers, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, I'm gonna call you Leo, Leonard. I, I think that's how you spell Leonardo. I guess I'll change it later on. I don't know. I mean, I would I would love to choose people in the comments, but I'm uploading these as fast as I can. Just just to, you know, put out content out there for, for you guys for the new Pokemon game. So, Leonardo is part of a new team, which is... Makes me think, are you going to be like a... Oh, like a water and something else type? Oh, alright. Alright, so let's swap Pokemon and put you at the top. Okay, we're gonna push in you. Hmm. Pushing you both up. Uh. Let's try New Nardo for once. I like New Nardo. It looks dope. Okay, let's go and run off. Wait, what? I could have gotten a Yamper. Oh, well, too late. Now I gotta wait for the next. Now I need a ground type. Yikes. Okay. Well. Here's our first trainer. That is very scary. Alrighty then. Let's go. I'm ready. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle with their eyes me. You know? Ba -ba. Hey! It's giving me a lot of like, let's go vibes, to be honest. Not that much of a difference. Okay, Skullvin. Now that's just a normal type, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it's a normal type. So, it's, well, water gun is the only thing I got here. So, water gun! Oof. Oh, got nothing on me. Alright, water gun again. Go. Water gun. My boy. Water gun. No, come on. Water gun. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright. Water gun. Go. Alright. Let's go. Water gun again. Alright, let's go. 
Oh my god. Oh wait, I just noticed I couldn't heal. Wait, does that count for wild bottles as well too? I I I, I completely forgot. I think I broke the, the rules. Oh jeez. <laughs> I just noticed I broke the rules. <laughs> Oh my god, when I was in Sean Bray, I was looking right at them. Actually, wait, hold on a second. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right. So I am officially back. It took me a while. So I was actually going through multiple shady lava videos just to make sure. So what I did wasn't illegal. And what I mean illegal is like when I went into a Pokemon like wild battle. Um, I nowhere have I heard that you can't heal within those those regions. But, I'm basing this off of what I saw on one of Shady's videos and what Goki Gamer actually talked about in his version. So, I'm actually going to do a copy of his version on mine. Let's see who comes out at top. Uh, I'm kind of scared because he's done these type of themes and I haven't. Which is, I don't know how long the Shady Log is going to be since this is my first ever time ever attempting this on the channel. So, let's, let's hope things go great. And if all fails, well, hey. I gave it a shot. <laughs> so let's see. So I had to make sure. So what what he Goki is doing is throughout the Pokemon battles that I did, like the one previously, if I heal, I lose. So as I was saying, if I heal during the Pokemon battle, I mean like not like wild battles. I'm talking about like trainer battles, gym battles, rival battles, etc. etc. If I heal throughout those those battles, I lose. So now I see why the importance of heal items are very important here. And I only have three tokens, so you'll see that on the screen on the layout, which I hopefully made one, and if not, I'll probably be creative and do something about it. So let's see. I'm gonna have to heal you up. And that's what's up. Let's go, Dreadnought. Boom. Let's go, next one. Boom. Let's run away. I'm still on the same route. Two potions. I need them. I need all the potions. Give me all the potions right now. Uh, crap. Uh, is there anything up here of, of any use? I see items here. Three Pokeballs. I'll take them. I'll take them all. Alright. So, let's see. Oh, that's a Zigzagoon. I just noticed. That's a Galarian Zigzagoon right there. Huh. Never thought I'd seen one of those. This soon. Oh, Chudo, you too. Chudo versus Chudo. That's that's how it's gonna go. All right, Chudo, let's go. I know I have my lay right here, which is kind of weird, but we gotta go and bite. Just who's who's? Come on, Leonardo. Destroy him. Destroy him. Oh, you flinched him. Destroy him. Go, Leonardo. You're faster. You're more effective, my friend. Tackle. You shall not. Watch. You're, you're a god, Chudo. Chudo! Finish him off! Aw, Chudo. It fainted. That's GG. I'm sorry, but your Pokemon suck. Alright. And I beat Last Lauren. Aw, poor Dean. Are we cute and nothing more? <laughs> it looks like our strength still has ways to go. Of course, of course, of course it does. <laughs> Alright. I see a Zigzagoon. Can catch it, though. Alrighty. Bomb. Oh man, I didn't see you actually. Jeez. Crap. Okay, this is gonna be scary. Alrighty. Blip bug. Bomb. Alrighty. Boom, boom. Alright. So. Uh, I don't know what type you are though. You're scaring me. I'm gonna bite you. Oh, it's a very fragile Pokemon. That's what I know for already. Ah, oh, man. I need to find out what type you are. Or else I'm, I'm going to get my, my butt whipped here. And that is a crit. Which means I'm going to get crit back in the future. Which is scary. Okay. Nick it? Alright, let's keep on. Now that's a fox. You look like a fire type. Water gun this thing. Okay, what again? Super effective? Huh, all right, bye. All right, Leonardo's faster than this team? Okay, so it's a dark type. It's confirmed, this team is a dark type, that's cool. Okay.
Okay. Alright, let's go and water gun this thing. Hmm. Water gun. Do your do your job. Oh jeez. You not have like attack or something? That's that's kinda scaring me. Alright, let's see. Uh summary. Oh, okay. Uh Oh, that's why that's why bite does more because the strong jaw. Oh, all right, water gun again. All right, I'm making sure I still live here. Tail whip. Hmm. Okay, in that case, I don't want to go and switch out because I think Lota G could do this. I think he could handle uh, whatever this thing is. I think so. All right, let's go, Lota G. I think you can handle this. I personally believe in you. Just don't get attacked for so much. <laughs> okay. So, Pound should do the necessary work here. Yep, it did. All right, Pound is more than enough. All righty. Level 9. That is good. That is some good numbers there. All right, Benjamin is taken care of. Well, I don't know what to say, but it's 420. It is. It is what it is. Okay, I'm kind of scared here. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go and heal up. I don't care if they're free heals, but I got potions. Might as well use them. Um, I'll use that on Loteji, just for right now. Whatever comes my way. Okay, I'm still not in a new route, so this is kind of a little bit worrisome. Look, there's the professor. Well. Duh. <laughs> so, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. Psst, no. <laughs> no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hope my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Hmm. Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. Hmm. Who are you? Oh, my name is Mike Gnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Aw, that's the oldest professor I've ever seen, by the way. <laughs> okay. Why, hop, dear. I see Wulo has made some new friends. And you must be also joined, seeing I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it completed in no time. You must... Already know about Dynamax, you right, also true 18? Professor Macaulay has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax into the fullest. There you, there you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that you are worth knowing about too, you know, like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a hammer, would you? Help me convince Lee. He should endorse us with the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Oh, Hop and Ostrojuity only just started out as Pokemon traders. There's still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the gallery to become strong traders, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goes precisely the reason I give them both Pokemon in, ta in fact. Look it up. <laughs> right then. In that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Are you serious? <laughs> I just used two potions. <laughs> okay, take that as payment. Take that as payment for not... Okay, as for payment, here's what I can do. I'll lose one token for not following the rules for the battle. How's that? That sounds fair enough, right? So I lost one healing opportunity, which sucks, but it's well deserved. I didn't know about that rule. So I include Pokemon battles as well. So I lost a token for that very reason. I think that's the best solution I could find. Right. I'll be waiting outside. I'll switch away too. So these are sometimes where I can prevent these healing. So I didn't use a token. I just had no control. I couldn't say no or anything. So for that, I'll take that free heal no matter what. <laughs> That's what I'll, I'll, I will take that W all the way, my friends. But for that previous thing about catching um, Leonardo while healing, 
I think I shouldn't have done that on my part, but for that, I sacrificed one token. All right, let's see. All right, let's head out and let's go. Um, ba -da -da. Hurry up, boss of Joe Anton. You gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna I'm destroy you with Chestnut. I mean, Chestnut Chuato. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come back with everything you have so we can brutally that we got what it takes. Of course. All right, let's go. I'm rather interested in how you two young trainers battle too. Hmm. Listen, you two. The reason I am unbeatable was because I learned from every battle I see or take a part in. That's how I've gotten to know where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. I swear, this sounds like some Tarzan theme. I'm, I'm serious. I am so serious. This theme sounds like a Tarzan type of theme for this game. Alright, so Blue send out. I send out Leonardo. And he has three Pokemon ahead of me. Have you got a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you up to the test. Okay. Well, Chuoto, you, you already know what's up. Bye. You strong jaw that thing. Go. Eat it for breakfast. Oh my gosh. Chuoto, calm down. Yo. For a turtle Pokemon, ain't so bad. It seems like a turtle Pokemon. Alright. Hmm. Uh, Squirt Bunny? Alright, let's get a little G. Hey, little G, you go, you do your thing. Go ahead. Bam! Look at Sobo! We're actually, oh no, I'm a level higher than you. So, joke's on you. Water gun. Go! Have a taste of a truce power. Our flames are burning bright. Are you using like Dynamax power or something? Oh, you're faster than me. I see. But your moves are not super effective. Oh. Well, look at you. Seems like you really know your time matchups. Of course, I know the Pokedex. I know it. Alrighty. And that is GG, my friend. Peace. Kaboom. Alrighty. And. That is a level up with both my Pokemon. That's crazy. All right, Rickety. Now that's a new Pokemon for me. So let's send out Leonardo out. I think Leonardo needs some time to be outside with the wild, you know. He loves to chew on birds. He loves birds. <laughs> That'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. All right, I see you. I see you. Now the thing is, I don't know what's Rick D's. Oh well. I think it's just a pure flying type though. I wonder if this is evolved from a Corvic Knight. That's... It looks like it. Huh. Alright. Bam! You're done. Bye Rookie D. GG my friend. GG. And that is a game! If I ever saw one. Alrighty. And I... Beat my rival, and here's Hob. Oof, got it that I lost. But I expect nothing less from my rival. Hey. <laughs> hmm. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. <laughs> the sting of defeat and the joy of victory, I guess. Going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? That is true. That is very true. Also, Joey Team, huh? Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I got I have little no choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Oh, huh. did we get like a badge case or something? A letter of endorsement? So what? I can put a letter of endorsement in the bag? Okay, never mind. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Okay. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym pilot. I mean, gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charles and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. 
Poke you're always intended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about you s still obsessing over that sort of nonsense. But it seems you're really grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Austin Joe Routine. Alright, Austin Joe 18, you and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? It's a shooting star. Make a wish. Oh, okay, never mind. <gasps> okay, you stole both of them. That's messed up. Also, JT, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. A wishing star? That, that's weird. <laughs> okay, it looked like it was gonna go over the horizon, but I guess it's here. A stone falling in the gallery region with a mysterious power. It is said that your dreams come true if you find one. Is this like the the Dynamax scene? With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes. Well, there goes my question of being answered. Trust you to trust you to pull something like this. They say wishes there is fall upon for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! <laughs> Damn. I said it three times, so surely my wish will come true right now, right? <laughs> Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishes are the composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Alright. Alright, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Awesome Joey and Teen and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we got a battle against the mad Pokemon in the slumbering wield, and now this. It feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. <laughs> oh, there's Sonya. Okay, seems like I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally upset with making the latest trendy curries. Okay. Alright. Alright. I see. I see you guys. Oh my god, This I think this episode is going to be an extra long episode for you guys. Episode 3 is going to be a fantastic episode. Alright. Hmm. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hope is it true you really met some Pokemon trainers you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you tell you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Also, Drew and 18 tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It was all pretty easy, if you ask me. <gasps> a right fount of information you are. Also, Drew 18, hop, these are for you. Wait, what do we get? Wait. The Dynamax Band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. Alright. So Wishing Star has been affixed to it. Let's out a let's out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Hmm. Alright. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like one Lee. It's, it's just like the one Lee has on him too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet. If you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form, now don't be afraid to go all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help out. That will help fill out your Pokedex too. The Legend of My Brain is finally about to begin. Come on, Oscar Joey Teen, I'll beat you in the station. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Say what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, I, I, oh man, I think I skipped it over. Oh well. Huh. All right. Oh, here's where you could train. Okay. What else can I do? Profile. All right. Bam. All right. All right. I call myself a chudo. 
That's cool. Alright then. I think this concludes this episode. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed episode 3 of the Pokemon Sword and Shield, Shady Lock, part 3. I know I didn't mention that in the first two episodes. If you guys enjoyed it, drop down a like and comment down below what was your favorite part of this episode. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.